Dickinson taxpayers are going to be paying those mounting legal bills for the conduct of these two guys, Mayor Sean Skipworth and the city manager Theo Melanson. A consideration possible action to approve retaining Rusty Harden & Associates LLP for uh, special legal services. City council already voted to hire attorney Rusty Harden to defend a lawsuit that hasn't even been filed yet. The one over the apparent targeting of the Creekside apartment complex. The low-income housing project now shuttered just off I-45 and 517. The owners hired Tony Busby to help them. But now we know Horton is also being paid $500 an hour to fight us, too, over the release of clearly public records. We filed suit in March after the city illegally withheld those public records from us. And the law firm of Olson and Olson apparently can't handle that legal fight by themselves. That firm has been paid more than $600,000 in legal fees in the last couple of years, some of it to defend our request for public information. When the city finally released some of the records, we found evidence Dickinson planned to shut down Creekside even before inspections took place last year. It appears to be all part of a plan to get rid of some of the apartments to redevelop the area into a special tax zone. The dick of Dickinson has been complaining about people being mean to him for months. He got the Galveston Daily News to help him complain too. Now the mayor thinks he's being threatened with, get this, murder. Making casual conversations about political murder, about purging people from the earth, about how long it takes to dispose of a corpse. Like At this, I, you're out of order. No, the, the vitriol and the, the, just the gaslighting that has gone on and has escalated over the last two years has become incredible. And I think Creekside encapsulates what has happened. The city manager's been caught routinely drinking late at night, sometimes on the taxpayer's dime. And the mayor says video of that on social media amounts to a smear job. But the mounting legal bills come as the Dickinson Chamber of Commerce president says the duo is ruining the city. New emails reveal even the city's own auditor has complained about a lack of transparency while Dickinson's revenue plummets. The notion that the city of Dickinson had to hire high-priced lawyers to help them fight a simple request for public records, it's an horrendous waste of money and an affront to the taxpayers of this beleaguered city. If Mayor Skipworth had been transparent from the beginning, not try to keep secrets, then nobody would have had to spend a penny Think about it.